Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Far Harbor, Fallout 4's newest DLC. My name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique flamer. Sergeant Ash. We will also run through its various mods and how it is best used. And of course, to acquire this weapon, you will need the Far Harbor DLC installed. To acquire this, we will need to come to Arcadia. You will be led here very early on into the DLC, so this should be no issue. On the Pip-Boy map, Arcadia can be found to the southwest of the town of Far Harbor. Once inside, we need to find the vendor Dejan. He will be wandering around on the second floor down. Once we find him, we need to talk to him and head to Barter. Once here, head down to the S's and we will be able to find Sergeant Ash for sale. And of course, the price of this weapon will vary depending on your character's current charisma level. As always, before looking at the weapon's base stats, I have reduced all of my character's special attribute stats to one. I also have no bobblehead, perk, or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of Sergeant Ash. In the first mod slot here, we're going to be adding the Napalm Tank. This will increase the base damage from 12 to 16. In the next mod slot, we're going to be going from a standard barrel to a long barrel, this increases the reach, which essentially just increases the point at which the flames come out. So in a weird way, increasing the range by about two yards without actually changing the range rating. Now for the tank, we're going to be adding the huge propellant tank, which as we can see, gives exceptional ammunition capacity and inferior reload speed. Now, although that reload speed sounds brutal, it's really not. Using the huge propellant tank will take the ammunition capacity from 100 to 400, and it will increase the reload time by about one second. So that is a payoff well worth it. Now for the nozzle, we have two choices. We have the compression nozzle and the vaporization nozzle. So first off, the compression nozzle. This will take the damage from 16 to 18, and it will also take the range down to 23. However, the vaporization nozzle will take the damage up to 20, but it will take the range to 11. Now a range of 23 on the compression nozzle is pushing it, but a range of 11 on the vaporization nozzle, it's not workable and incredibly impractical. So although we will be losing two damage with the compression nozzle, we will have more than double the range of the vaporization nozzle. So for my mod set, we're going to be using the compression nozzle. And of course, you can mod yours out however you like. So now that it has been modded out to my liking, it has a base energy damage of 18, which is fire damage. It uses the flame of fuel as ammunition. Its rate of fire is 90, its range is 23, its accuracy is 53, its weight is 30.9, and its value is 780 caps. As we can see up the top there, Sergeant Ash, 20% chance to cripple the target's legs. Now I'm going to be honest with you here, in the base game of Fallout 4 I had never even picked up a flamer. There were no unique flamers in the base game of Fallout 4 and I thought they were particularly limited. So then take that mindset and add on this effect, I really wasn't too optimistic for this weapon. Oh how the tables turned. Sergeant Ash is a phoenix rising from the charred remains of the flamer in the base game. So I've got some explaining to do. Sergeant Ash releases about 5 to 6 projectiles per second. So although the minimum base damage is 18, you will be delivering 18 damage multiple times a second. And then of course, when you add on top of that, the heavy gunner perks, you can get the damage up to about 36. So as long as you hold the flame on an enemy, you're going to be dealing about 150 damage per second, which is not something to be scoffed at considering you have that massive ammunition capacity of 400 and you can just hold the trigger down for about a minute and wreck everything around you. Now the ridiculousness of this modern day dragon doesn't end there. We must also remember, of course, it has this legendary effect that I thought was pretty rubbish. And boy oh boy was I incorrect. So each projectile you fire has a 20% chance to cripple the target's leg. And of course, Sergeant Ash releases multiple projectiles per second, which on paper you go, yeah, that's pretty good. But in practice, this thing's unstoppable because as soon as an enemy becomes crippled, all they can do is sit or lie on the ground while you stand 10 feet away and cook them to death. Nothing has any chance against this. Also, when you fire Sergeant Ash, get it? All of the surrounding area sets on fire. Now, although I cannot confirm this with extensive mathematical and graphical research, it would seem that the residual flames around the enemy you're hitting can also cripple other enemies, just adding another flaming phoenix feather into the cap of Sergeant Ash. And also, anything that remains on fire after you stop firing, or even while you're still firing, then takes over time burn 
and damage. So before we start all orgasming, which we should be anyway, let's talk about its two negatives. First of all is the range. With a range of 23, you're not going to be doing any long shots, and you'll only just be making some medium shots. But as soon as you do get within range, your enemy is finished. There's no chance for them. And the second downside is the weight. After it's fully modded out in the way I did, it's about 30 pounds. But to be honest, who gives a toad's nose? Even though it has a weight of 30 plus, you really don't need to carry anything else with this. You can run around without armor on. Provided you don't have the reflexes of a glacier, then you'll be able to catch any enemies running at you, and they'll never be able to touch you. Unless, of course, you're into that. In all seriousness, you might want to carry another really long-range weapon to take out those pesky tower-dwelling nemeses. But apart from that, for just walking around, this is your go-to weapon. I personally have genuinely never felt safer in Fallout 4 holding a weapon than I felt while holding Sergeant Ash. Especially in Far Harbor, where enemies come sprinting at you out of thick fog, the whole island's dark and mysterious, everything looks wet and slimy and creepy, this works as a torch, like literally giving you light, and two, you know that nothing is going to touch you while you hold the sergeant in your hands. And on a technical level, with the advanced modifications and investments in the heavy gunner perk, Sergeant Ash becomes one of the most potent, if not the most potent, close range firearms available, but of course at the cost of making the weapon extremely heavy. And once again, that is a trade that pays itself off a thousand times over. You should also note, shots using VATs do not deal the amount of damage displayed instantly, since it deals damage over time, and the first shot using VATs generates only a single tick on the critical meter. But the second shot generates several ticks at once, potentially filling the critical meter in an instant. I mean, Jesus. There's just another honorary medal on the military jacket of Sergeant Ash. And just as a little cherry on top, none of Sergeant Ash's modifications require a perk before they are made. So anyone with a Far Harbor DLC can go and grab this weapon and mod it out without having to spend any perk points in modification perks. Sergeant Ash will leave your foes fuming. In combat, this renders all of your targets as liars because their pants are on fire. It also looks like it's the end of the week. It's Friday. So after talking about this, I'm a bit hot under the collar. And as much as I love a good fight, all of these battles have burned me up. And quite seriously, forget every other weapon in Fallout 4 because Sergeant Ash is undoubtedly the most powerful firearm. And as a wise man once said, which was me, give a man a fire and he'll be warm for an evening. Set a man on fire and he'll be warm for the rest of his life. Which I like to think is Sergeant Ash's motto. And here it is, Sergeant Ash in action. <laughs> There you have it ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel and this has been my guide of how to locate and also how to use the unique Flamer Sergeant Ash in Fallout 4's DLC Far Harbor. If you did find this video helpful, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my Fallout 4 guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides. If you wish to rekindle the fire in your heart, please follow me on Twitter. The link will also be in the description. And with all that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.